In this video, I'm going to help you and your business crack the Google code. My name is Steve with the branding agency, mybrandingagency.com. We are located here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're a marketing agency, online marketing agency. Anything SEO, local SEO, or e-commerce SEO, we can help you. 704-800-7413. So let's just jump right into the topic at hand, and we're going to discuss the Maps Pack section of Google. And appearing on that first page, this is a very coveted spot appearing in the map pack section if your business can get here in the map pack you are going it's going to be a, a significant change for your business you're going to see more website visits more calls uh, if you have consultations you're going to see more consultation requests so you know i hate to use the word game changer but this truly is a game changer for businesses so this is what I'm going to focus on. There's six things uh, in this video, <clears throat> excuse me, that I'm going to focus on. And if you do all six, there's a very good chance that you're going to rank well in, in the Google Map Pack section. Uh, you know, I'm going to use a case study where we weren't doing one tiny bit of this uh, off of the six, and we were only doing half of, of one, and we changed it. And our profile, our profile's been up for years and it was a complete game changer. So jumping right in, edit profile. So this is what, um, let, me, let me back up. Uh, this is the Google business profile on the right-hand side. This is what everyone sees. If you are logged in on a desktop, this is your settings section. And from this settings section, you can do anything, any of these prompts on your uh, Google business profile, you can edit or add to. If you're on a mobile, you need to use Google Maps in the lower right-hand side. If you're logged in in the same account, you'll see your Google business profile on the lower right-hand side. But let's just jump right in. First thing is going to be your business category. You have to nail this. If you get your business category right, or you have to. I mean, there's no ifs about it. So this can be a little bit confusing. We, for business purposes in our Google business profile, we're in Charlotte. So we're offering SEO services. Primarily, in most cases, it's local SEO. But there isn't a category for local SEO. So the only or the closest category was internet marketing services. And marketing agency is close. So what we had to do, we had to do some competitor research. And we went out, looked at other profiles that were ranking high in uh, in the map pack section. And we were able to find out what their business category was, what their primary business category was. And we added it, internet marketing services. So if you're having trouble with this section and you need help identifying what business category uh, your competitors are, Leave a comment in the comment section. There is an, an app I can uh, I could share a link to, and you can use that, and that will reveal what um, category, a uh, business category, their primary business category. The other one is going to be your description. You have to nail that description, all those rich keywords, and just read ours. Dominate local search with Charlotte SEO services, the branding agency boost traffic and sales. So I guess technically you could say that's two sentences, but within the first sentence, I've got local search, Charlotte SEO services, and the branding agency, our company name in that first, second um, sentence. So again, keep, keep that uh, in mind. You have to nail those keywords within the first or second pair, uh, sentence can't get overly uh, spammy. So fueled by Google SEO and compelling content. And then again, the branding agency takes small businesses beyond the ordinary. We don't get overly spammy, okay? But keep that in mind. You have to um, put descriptive, tell exactly what you do, how you do it, and use keywords. The other thing, this is going to be the case study, okay, that really changed things for us, was a major game change changer. 
for your Google business profile, you have to have your keyword in your business name. So for years, our Google business profile was just the branding agency, mybrandingagency.com. Well, we added SEO to our uh, Google business profile and boom, we're in the map pack section. So it's, it's a service that we offer. It's the main service that we offer. And by adding that keyword, you know, again, if you're not getting uh, spammy about it, Google will approve it. If you add all these, you know, multiple keywords and it's realistically not part of your name, <clears throat> Google can ding you and not allow you to add that, uh, that keyword to your name. So if you look at our services, we offer SEO services. It's the main service that we offer. Um, we didn't put the branding agency, local SEO, national uh, e-commerce SEO. We just put the branding agency SEO, <clears throat> excuse me, and boom, game changer for us. Okay, so the next thing on the list is going to be the city here on your Google business profile, your location. So in some of the bi bigger cities, cities, and even really, you know, maybe even a smaller city, you're going to have suburbs. And if you put your business zip code in when you're filling out your Google business profile and your suburb comes up and you're targeting that, you know, in this case, Charlotte, could be a problem, okay? Uh, if you're not, again, if you're not coming up in the map pack section, this may, may be the reason. So you're going to find a, you're going to need to find a way to get into that uh, target city. Either find a P.O. box, uh, rent out a space or sublease from somebody's office or home. You have to do it um, if you're really trying to covet that that keyword as far as the city. Technically, we're in a suburb called Ballantyne, but <clears throat> when you put in 28277, it doesn't come up as Ballantyne. It comes up as, as Charlotte. So lucky for us. The next thing is going to be your images. Now, it's always good to include an image of your building, giving people the comfort that you are an actual business. You're not operating. And look, I know nowadays it's not as important. Some people prefer a local business, but if you have a local business and it has a building and people say, hey, look, I noticed that building. We have a sign on the side of our building. We put that up there as well. Um, it's going to really click. But the real game changer is you need to geotag your images. And if you don't know how to eat ge uh, geotag your images, again, in the comments section, ask me. I need help geotagging my images, and I'll give you a link to uh, a tool that will help you geotag your uh, images. And if you geotag your images, again, that just may be one little thing on the list that propels you into the map pack section. Okay, last but not least is going to be reviews. And everybody thinks the reviews is the most important thing on there. I can tell you these are all equally important. If you have 300 reviews and someone just has a few, but you don't do the rest of the things that I mentioned on uh, this this overview and the other person did, more than likely they're going to appear in the um, map pack section. So asking for Google reviews, if you want more reviews, I just clicked on the ask for more Google reviews in our profile, okay, in our settings, ask for reviews. It's going to give you a link. You can email that link. You can uh, put it on your Facebook or social media. You can uh, actually send someone a text or a, uh, a messenger, Google Messenger. We've got an email script that we send out after working with the client. We know they're happy. It's a very professional email script. It's not salesy whatsoever, and it's not begging them for the like. Again, if you want a copy of that in the comments section, send me a copy, and I'll just paste it in the notes section. It's a really professional email script, and you can send out a mass email, and I can assure you we've got a local landscaping business that we work for. 
we asked them to do this. In the last two weeks, they've got probably 30 to 40 uh, new uh, Google reviews. And it's, you know, just been tremendous for them, the amount of new reviews. And, you know, when somebody finds them, when somebody search for a landscaper in the area and they see all those fresh new five-star reviews, it's, it helps a lot. Reviews are big. Again, reviews in this particular video, they're equally as important as everything else, but people love reviews. If you get a third-party review from a client and it's a good review, people love to read that stuff. So I can't tell you, get aggressive about your reviews. Ask for them. You have to ask for them. And you got to get aggressive. You got to send out email, post it on social media anything to get that Google review. So those are the list items. I'll put them in order on the notes of this video. And again, if you have any questions, I can answer them in the comments or you can schedule a consultation. Again, Steve with the branding agency, mybrandingagency.com. If you like our content, like the video we get some google or we get some youtube juice just from you liking the video subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified every time we post a new video we try and post one every day daily so again thank you for making it this far into the video and i will see everyone again manana